Another year has come and gone. Another sequence of days and months and weeks has come and gone. Sometimes before we even know it, time can pass very quickly. And it can pass with or without us being efficient or productive, restful or celebrating time with our family, devoting time to our own personal growth, uh, setting high aspirations and goals and reaching them or not reaching them. We can begin with gusto, new commitments and desires, but oftentimes we lose momentum along the way. Paul understood that. And as we come into 2020, a, another opportunity for accountability to our Lord, another opportunity for growth, we as a church, we as leadership here at Poplar Grove are committing ourselves to a high intensity, a deep focus on personal commitment to Christ, uh, giving him this next year. And, and, and Paul highlights that as, as he writes to the Thessalonians. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 11, he says, To this end also we pray for you, that our God will count you worthy of your calling and fulfill every desire for goodness and the work of faith with power so that the name of our Lord Jesus will be glorified in you and in him. Paul says that he prays every day for God to fulfill every desire for goodness. Uh, I pray that you're spending some time looking backwards. And as you look backwards, that you are assessing. You're assessing your own personal transformation, your own walk with Christ. You're assessing your own involvement in the body of Christ. You're assessing your own engagement of the world around you, your own activity with uh, neighbors and the nations. And as you assess, sometimes that honest assessment can be hurtful, it can be sad, it can be uh, depressing, uh, but, but remember the promise of Philippians 1, 6, where he says that what God begins, he's faithful to bring to conclusion. And as we look forward, we, we want to we be serious and notice the obstacles and barricades that may prevent, be, be preventing us from fully reaching uh, Christ's expectations in us. And so I want to begin to challenge you as you uh, set some new goals, as you assess where you are, where you've been, as you begin to say no to some things, as you incorporate some new yeses, as you possibly are creating a new normal in your life, that, that remember, God is faithful to fulfill every good desire. Uh, may he receive glory in 2020 for the efforts that his people produce and labor for his namesake. Uh, I look forward to seeing where I am at this point in 365 days. Where will you be a year from now?